Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about linear regression. If you are new to the channel, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. We will cover uh, the following topics in this video. Uh, the introduction to linear regression model, uh, different types of linear regression, regression model equation analysis, how to evaluate the performance of regression model and the assumptions of linear regression model. So what is a uh, linear regression? Linear regression is a statistical model that estimates the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable using a straight line. The regression allows the researchers to predict or explain variation in one variable based on another variable. The independent variable is also known as the predictor variable or the explanatory variable, whereas the dependent variable is also known as the response variable or the outcome variable. So what are the different types of linear regression? Linear regression is of two types. One is the simple linear regression and the other is the multiple linear regression. The simple linear regression examines the influence of an independent variable on dependent variable. Whereas multiple linear regression is used to examine the influence of several independent variables. The term linear is used in the linear regression because the model implies a relationship between variables by parameters for each that are linear or constant which are solved for, to minimize the total deviation of data from the model. So what is the purpose of using linear regression model? So the regression can be used for determining the strength of predictors, forecasting an effect and also for trend forecasting. Simple linear regression equation can be given as y dash is equal to mx plus b where y dash is the dependent variable, m is the slope and b is the intercept. Y dash is the respective estimate of Y value, which means that uh, for each X value, the corresponding Y value is estimated. Let's uh, look at the uh, regression model. So if all the measured values were on straight line, the estimate would be perfect. So this uh, actually never happened in a real world scenario. And in most cases, a straight line needs to be uh, found, which uh, is as close as possible to the individual data points. And the aim of this is to keep the error in the estimation as small as possible. And the distance or the error is called as the residual. So as you can see in this line, there are data points and there is a trend line and there are points that are far away from the trend line. So those are the data points or the distance from the uh, trend line is called as the error. So those values are the error. Vertical distance between the data point and the regression line is known as the error or residual. Each data point has uh, one residual and uh, sum of all the difference is known as the sum of residual or error. So the aim is to minimize the error. So the residual or the error is the difference between actual value and the predicted value. Whereas the sum of residuals or errors is the sum of uh, difference between the actual and the predicted values. Square of uh, sum of residual or errors is the uh, square of sum of residuals. So let's see how to check the performance of uh, regression model. So the evaluation uh, is uh, necessary to understand the performance of regression model and uh, some of the evaluation matrices are R squared or um, coefficient determination, adjusted R squared, mean squared error and the root mean squared error. So what is uh, R squared? See the most commonly used uh, metric model evaluation in the regression analysis is the R squared. So R squared is the different uh, defined as the ratio of variation to the total variation and the value of R square lies between 0 to 1. So we will discuss uh, the R square about the R square uh, in more detail in the coming videos. One of the main drawback of R square is that the R square value increases when there are more variables added to the data set. So to overcome this uh, adjusted R square is used. Adjusted R square uh, only considers the variables that are important for the model and shows real improvements in the model. The other metric is uh, mean squared error. It is uh, one of the metrics for evaluation the mean squared error which is the mean of square difference of actual versus the predicted values the other method is uh, root mean squared error it is the uh, root of mean squared error and the root of mean differences of the actual and the predicted values what are the assumptions of a linear regression model there are four assumptions associated with the linear regression model they are linearity normality homoscedasticity Independence. Linearity is the relationship between x and the mean of y, 
that is linear so the linearity assumes the relationship between x and the mean of y is linear whereas normality assumes that x and y variables should be normally distributed homoceticity uh, the spread of residuals uh, should be constant for uh, the all values of x and independence means that the variables should be independent of each other so the linearity can be checked by plotting a scatter plot between both the variables whereas the normal distribution can be checked by using histogram kde plots and qq plots homoceticity can be checked by plotting the residual plot and independence can be checked by using correlation matrix so in summary the simple linear regression is a commonly used statistical model that figures out the relationship between one independent variable and one dependent variable using a straight line hope you are clear with this topic if you like the video please press the like button and share it with your friends thank you